People call me Jerry. I'm 20 years old. I've been living in this town for about three years now. Oh, my name is Renelle. I'm into my culture and into my background and my traditional ways. Let's see, I love doing sports and uh, outdoor-like things. I am um, a dancer from Grassy Narrows, First Nation. Certainly like to watch a lot of movies. I'm a bit of a enthusiast. <laughs> um, I had a traumatic childhood, and so I have a lot of mental illnesses. I've been in foster care since three months old. I've been like through a uh, rough time, so many, like so, a lot of rough time. KCL actually supports about uh, 50 of these young people, transition age youth they're called. What I see that most of the consumers that I support are struggling with are identity issues. I was always constantly going to jail, being there for six months every time get out and uh, do the same thing. Just keeping to myself. I was super shy in school. Then I started drinking a lot, and that got me into trouble <laughs> in February. And I've been in and out of jail ever since. I was planning and attempted suicide a lot. The Kenora Rainy River District is unique in that we had five Indian residential schools right in our community. The trauma that was inflicted through colonization and through those schools is showing up and that's what we're seeing in the face of these young people. I have been hurt by people who were supposed to take care of me. They have suffered a lot of trauma early in their life. Some have been exposed to homelessness. I was going home to home. Jail is starting to call it home, which is pretty bad. They're disconnected from their families. They're disconnected from their communities. Uh, they're disconnected from their language. Um, which are all key components to an Indigenous person's identity. We had to get uh, committed to working differently with this group of people. We had to honour and understand that wellness for Anishinaabe people is rooted in their cultural and ceremonial spiritual practices. Dan, he is really traditional and he's a good man. He's nice. We're good buddies. All of the clients that I support have very limited knowledge uh, in terms of their language and very little knowledge about uh, any traditional practices or customs. Sometimes we go pick sweetgrass or sage. He takes me to powwows. I guess it, it kind of helps me feel a little more aware of the community I was once from. Stuff I never knew about my culture. We've recognized that um, the recovery process is really inherent on building a relationship based on trust. Dan's been really important that way because he has worked with those uh, young people in a way that makes them deeply trust that it's real. This is something that's um, never been afforded to them within the agency or uh, within supports in general. My first time coming to um, Grassy and for a powwow, it's like really awesome. It's extremely empowering to be in that circle. I guess I remember when I was a little girl when I first started dancing. It makes me feel good. Like they talk about the teachings being lost. Well, it's very important that you guys learn about the medicines. I've learned a lot about myself and who I am. They're definitely more at ease and that's great to see. They helped me like figure a way how to save money. Helped me uh, build my confidence. Helped me find a good job at the, um, the theater. Make me have more confidence in myself. Helped me with pretty everything. <laughs> I would say I made a lot of friends. We've been like going for like walks and stuff like that. They're just there 24/7, anytime you need them. I've learned from the staff here just to be a good person towards other people. Everything is just phenomenal, like it's awesome. They helped me find a job, they're helping me find a place to live. Kept me out of jail. I don't want to be a criminal. I've been out for six months, thanks to the help of my staff. They've been there since the day I got out. We've had the opportunity to both be of service to them, I think, but also they have taught us deeply about what it means to be a service organization in this part of Ontario. My goals for my future is I hope to one day become a successful movie director. Learn how to drive and get a car. Take culinary courses because I want to become a chef. I just enjoy celebrating the fact that they are moving towards goals that um, they might not have felt were particularly possible. We have to get this right. We have to um, engage in acts of reconciliation. My other goal is to get my family back together so I can be one with them again. Like I actually want to help with my community too, where my mom lives. These young people will not heal unless we help them get back into relationships with their community. I would say the most 
personal one in my life would be um, I have a family of my own someday. There's no manual, it's life. I'm still learning to love myself and I'm learning about myself. So long as they're trying to, to reconnect with their culture, you'll see you know, a lot of positive in their, in their life. I want them to find um, happiness on their terms and safety on their terms. If I need someone to talk to, there's always somebody out there that wants to help and listen. I'm a person and I matter. And so the important, the most important thing <clears throat> that um, they've done for me is given me hope and confidence.